Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I'm going to introduce you with the NVIDIA Judson 2GB Developer Kit. This is a powerful kit and this can be used for developing applications in the AI and robotics side with ease. And most importantly, they promise a real-time performance in all the applications that you develop with this board and this is affordable too. This board is so small, I have just unpacked it. This board is so compact, so small, lightweight, and this has got support for multiple interfaces. Let me go through it one by one, and it will be very easy for you to understand that as well. So if you are developing any embedded application or deep learning applications or anything with respect to robotics, I think you can choose this board. So if you see, to start with, we have got a 40 pin extension header over here. This is the 40 pin one that I told you. And then we have got the Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet slot out here and which is followed by USB 2.0 ports. We have got two USB 2.0 ports. We have got USB 3.0 port out here and then we've got a HDMI output port here which I'm pointing to and most importantly, we get the board powered up by USB-C and that's available here. We also have the MIPI CSI 2 camera connector over here which is going to help us in connecting the cameras and the entire board is not very heavy. Let me tell you honestly, this is so lightweight and this could fit in my palm. And the image that they give for getting this board up and running is to be loaded in an SD card, micro SD card, and that goes in into the slot that they have provided here. It's, it's so tricky to see that. But again, let me try to show you that we have a slot here and you need to insert the micro SD card here and then it will boot up. But one thing that you need to remember is this board, this package, whatever package that we get from NVIDIA, when you buy it, it doesn't come with the micro SD card and the USB-C. So you need to get yourself with the uh, USB card, I mean the micro SD card and the USB cable. Also, if you want to go for the headless mode, you need to get the appropriate components there as well. Uh, it, it comes just with the board and they have a quick start document that's available here, which is well made. And most importantly, it has got the connection diagrams and the circuit explanatory diagrams, which are very easy for anybody to understand. So overall, if I tell you, this is a very good board and I'm going to show you some of the exercises that I'm going to build through this and I'll teach you that as well shortly. Stay tuned. Till then, thank you very much. If you like the channel and content, kindly subscribe. Thank you.